Alexa, what is passive aggressive? According to Wikipedia, passive aggressive behavior is characterized by a pattern of passive hostility and an avoidance of direct communication. Inaction where some action is socially customary is a typical passive aggressive strategy. Such behavior is sometimes protested by associates, evoking exasperation or confusion. So did you hear that? So we are all guilty of being passive aggressive at times in our life, right? But could you be direct with people and come right out with how you feel? You know, I think you could be. I think people could say you're passive aggressive when you are direct and you do want to discuss your feelings because wouldn't your feelings be important? Whether it be the past or present. I don't know why people are so quick to say you're passive aggressive without thinking that they're passive aggressive for saying you're passive aggressive. And whether a person wants to go over something in the past that's hurt them and maybe they still have thought about it, maybe they want to lick the envelope shut. Maybe they're seeking some information or a step on a life ladder to get to that place by the very words and experience that you could share before you right away think, oh, they're passive aggressive. Oh, they're mad. I'm not going to go anywhere. Calm down and take that opportunity to say, okay, what's bothering you? Am I concerned in it? Am I involved in it? And a lot of times people um, that are direct, I'm direct. We get like the handshake and the push off that, you know, I'm passive aggressive. Uh, that might not be true. What could be true is let's deal with some directness about things that have happened that are continually happening. So if you have somebody that um, has not changed and their history is showing this repetitive blaming and discussing things and, and they just never seem to get out of this maze, um, you know, offer people a hand, offer people a little bit of love and concern and it's a good idea to listen. You know, I'm lacking in that area sometimes. But if I do listen, and uh, I think it's something that they could work out on their own. Of course, I, I can't do that work for them. But I can encourage them to, because it can be perceived as just rejection and hate. And if I fall into that category of projection and hate, it's really wrong. And uh, I feel like that a lot of times, you know. And uh, I feel like some people, they might not like uh, my honesty or my directness. And I, 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 can, I can say things like that. You hate me, you don't want me around. And it could be childish, but it could also be something that I'm going through so I can be aware of, you know, making some changes in my life as well. But sometimes people just want to reject you because you are direct. And whether it be yesterday or today, if you right away just help people in life, I mean, if you keep doing it with some people and they just can't get it, you know, you do have to walk away because it's just like, you know, you're just paddling up a stream you never just get out on the shore that's a hard place to be with certain people and their their loss of you being in their life maybe they can recall it like a book or a story and say oh I got to get to the good part when that person cared or that person did share some knowledge with me that I didn't receive or or you know understand or get to where I needed to go because it's the worst feeling in life to be lost well, that was a mouthful, but being lost is it's a hard place. I look back in my life, Miss Cool, and I and I've met a lot of people that were older. And you know they didn't share their wisdom. You know why they didn't? Because sometimes their wisdom had to put themselves in that place where they were wrong and say, Hey, learn from me, learn from my mistakes. Don't do that. So that's why a lot of times people don't want to share wisdom, or they could say, I know this person that you know, found out this or this or that, you know, and, and not use themselves. 
It's always going to feel better if you just sort of lay it on the table and say it was me. I was that person. You know, sometimes people are mad at the Me Too movement. But I think the Me Too movement helps people, you know, have courage to step up and say, hey, that happened to me as well. Or uh, coming out of the closet or about anything they want, you know. As long as you can have somebody that hears your heart and hears you and, and understands that, you know, you're not alone in that. But it's Miss Cool saying sometimes I, I go down to a level that's, that's not good. And uh, I'm not easy to talk to sometimes because uh, it's... Uh, It is passive aggressive. I can be passive aggressive. Because I think it's a normal feeling for people to be loved and understood and wanted to be heard. But uh, at a certain point, even if a person is passive aggressive and they're not direct, just uh, offer them a, a word of, you know, advice that would be good. And if you just don't want anything to do with the situation, you can be rude or boisterous. And, and and be mean and make them feel like that you can't hear them which has happened to me it's very hurtful it never it never helped the situation to not love somebody that's loved you so if people have loved you and people have been there for you and if they're having a down day my goodness gracious just listen to them just offer them some sweet sweet words and uh, they usually go away with like uh, a feeling of that, that that person cared. They didn't want to just right away put a, put a, uh, a little uh, tag on you. You're passive aggressive or you're hurt. So what? Sometimes all that stuff needs to push away because that person's not going to come to you and say, I don't feel really good today and I'm having a really bad day and I want somebody to tell me I'm loved. Could, wouldn't life be a lot easier if somebody saw the good and even the people angry and mad? Aren't, isn't that what we're here and our purpose in life's for? To, to let somebody know they are loved? Especially if they're reaching out to you. So let's not be so judgmental of one another, though I have been and can be. It's always a good idea to pull back and just let somebody know the good in them. Because if we look for the good in them, even though we see anger, tears, hostility, crying, passive aggressiveness, just offer them something nice. A hug works if you know them. Um, just remind them of something nice. My daughter did it today to, for me. You know, she sent me a picture of me and my granddaughter, Tilly Blue. Sometimes I'm surrounded with a lot of negativeness and people take things out on me. So I too myself need to stand up and be calm and have love and hug someone that's not having a good day and go back on all the wonderful things they said and they did too. So it's Pamela saying when the fire starts, let's not add more wood or gas to it, but let's rather back up and, and say, what can I do today? to make somebody else's life a little better or easier. It could just be a small word, like I love you, and you're worth it, and you're special, and I'm here for you. God bless.